Vivo, the faceless entity that seems to be the source of millions of YouTubers' anger. But moreover, what is this mysterious omnipresent force of the internet that is seemingly devouring all music videos on the web and shitting out censored, advertisement-laden versions of the same music videos? Well, luckily for you, I'm here to tell you what exactly Vivo is. Now, when YouTube was little more than a site for users to upload videos of their cats and vacations at the zoo, Music videos were uploaded by the users of YouTube, and quality could vary from the music video being one giant gray pixel to full HD uncensored quality. As time progressed, however, and YouTube began to acquire users by the millions, music videos began to increase in quality, with more intelligent users uploading higher quality and uncensored versions of their desired songs. This also resulted in thousands of different destinations for one music video which means you could watch the same music video 10 times on 10 separate YouTube accounts, which in turn made placing advertisements on music videos a nearly impossible task, which is precisely where Vivo comes into play. Vivo, which was started by two of the big three music corporations of Universal Music Group, Sony Music Group, and a media company known as Abu Dhabi Media, was started with one purpose to be the only internet destination for nearly every popular music video ever made. Which would make it far easier for major corporations such as McDonald's and Anheuser-Busch to advertise on music videos. And since Vivo is currently run by two of the big three music corporations, this makes it far easier for the biggest music corporations in the world to collect bigger paychecks on a per-view basis on what is arguably the most popular type of entertainment on the internet. And as I've already explained, since Vivo is primarily owned by the two largest music corporations, this makes it far easier for said corporations to forcefully advertise their mainstream of bubblegum candy pop artists on my favorite music videos. Because the last thing I want to see when I'm trying to watch Guerrilla Radio by Rage Against the Machine is an advertisement for Nicki Minaj. The number one factor that makes me think that Vivo is a very evil video organization, however, is their censorship policy. Now Vivo has set their censorship policy to be the same standard as TV broadcast in order to appeal to corporate advertisers and to censor out any word worse than damn. However, since language is as subjective as it is, this makes it nearly impossible to determine what classifies a word that is worse than damn. And in turn, this has led to a plethora of words that Vivo has deemed as vulgar and worthy of censorship such as nearly any word that is cannabis related, which includes words such as weed, bong, blunt, and even sticky. Also, any words that are drug related, such as heroin, and even crack. And even any words that are gun related, such as clips, trigga, blastia, tech nine, and even words such as steel. Which can make it extremely difficult to listen to most of the real hip hop music videos that Vivo has claimed as their own. There is also the fact that Vivo, which may I remind you is primarily owned by two of the biggest three music corporations, has the ability to delete any other music video on any other site on the entire World Wide Web if the music video falls under Universal, Sony, EMI's, and ultimately Vivo's legal ownership. Which also brings me to another question that I can't answer but would like to ask. Which is, why is it that the largest music corporations are so determined to work together in a globally dominative monetary fashion? And more importantly, if this were most any other form of business, what would be the repercussions for these corporations who are so determined to work together to block any form of competition in terms of how music is consumed? Because it's not only music that is owned by the big three of the music industry that Vivo is seeking to control and censor. But Vivo has also claimed ownership rights to music videos that are featured by independent record label distributors such as Orchard Music and Koch Music, which means that Vivo has also gained the ability to censor music in the independent music market. So to Vivo CEO Rio Karif and the rest of your Vivo lackeys, if you so happen to stumble upon this video, Allow me to personally say, I have nothing against any person or corporation who wishes to make nearly all popular music videos easy to access and watch. But what I do have a problem with, 
is censorship that is so rampant in my favorite music videos that my favorite artists can hardly make it two bars without being silenced due to language that you personally deem as vulgar and unfit for broadcast. It's the fact that soulless suits like you are the same type of people that demand Leonardo da Vinci's David be covered up from the waist down. Because if art imitates life, and life imitates art, then what are you really trying to censor? And that's how all memories are based. So when you think about, like, you know, your summer of, you know, your high school years, it's defined by what? What music was being was playing at that time, what you were wearing, all those things. So if we look at music in that way, then, then you pull back from the mosaic, and the answers start to really come to you, the bigger picture starts to come to you. And for me, I just feel like, look, What's a commercial without a song? It's a perfect segue, Laura, to, to looking at the, at the reality. If you look at the, the, the issue of history in the industry, 